Hello, oh, future internet that... people. It's me, Richard, talking over Chris while he was about to ask me <laughs> questions. Because we Sorry. are organised. We are professionals. <laughs> and we're playing some Snow Renore. Um, so, is, yes, you're asking. Is this Swamp Truck? Yes. Yay, Swamp Truck. <laughs> um, so if anyone other than us is watching this, uh, me and Visky's actually played a, a smidge outside of recording. Gasp, I know. Um, and one of the things we did was get Big Blue. Um, and in that, we still... We really weren't that productive when you think about it. What do you mean, Richard? We got a whole truck. And one upgrade that was next to that truck. Whoa, are we going to accomplish two things today? Well... The elusive two second thing. <laughs> <laughs> As I said um, when we were setting everything up, like my current goal when I started this was just to go explore a new area. Um, so I have absolutely no idea what's in that area. So we might just incidentally do two things. One. I'm Ooh. excited to do two things. Also, remember last time how I was telling you about the uh, the trucks I was trying to save up for that it were actually DLC and I had the whole time? Yes. This one here that I just got out now yeah. is one of those trucks. Is it a good truck? Uh, it's okay. It just has like virtually no fuel. It has like oh. 40 litres of fuel. That's not a lot of fuel. And this is the other one. Which I haven't tried this one yet, so I don't does it know. Does have a built-in crane? Yes, it does. Huh. Uh, I might just, and many wheels. I might just leave all of that for now, because I think we've got enough trucks set up. Um, I want I want the, that one. There we go. Ha-ha! I want purple. So, so, okay, if so, you um, take when... Big Blue, you okay. will have fuel covered, and what I'm going to do is hopefully get a... Oh, I don't have the repair one in here? Oh, why don't... Oh, well, this truck that I have now already has a repair thingy in it, so it should be okay. Uh, and I'm going to just leech off you for fuel. I'm not going to bring a trailer. Okay, um, hang on. I'm trying to find where we're going. Uh, oh, actually. Actually. Island, hold Island on. Lake? That uh, ooh, that's a good question. My map is turned around. Yes, Island Lake. Gateway to Island Lake. Now, are we going via the dam, or are we going where my map says boulders? I was going... I, I was going over the rock. Uh, so not boulders. Basically just a straight line. Okay, now <laughs> can I oh. check to see how many repair points this has? This has 150. Okay, but does you have more than 150 repair points? No, you have 50. Okay, alright, I'm sticking with my my good old trusty purple. Uh, change truck. There it is. Hell yeah, pimp truck. All right. Are you gonna just follow me? I am following you. As soon cool. as I turn my handbrake off. I will point out, this truck is not very fast. I can <laughs> tell. <laughs> this is its top speed. <laughs> wow. Um, but it does have a repair kit. It is very light. It has its own built-in reserve fuel tank, and then usually when I'm doing exploring stuff, I combine it with the trailer um, that has the fuel tank, and that's how I get my my big lot of fuel. But... Oh, I just damaged my engine. Oh yeah, you're going to damage it all the way down. I'm doing a controlled fall <laughs> down the cliff. Um, put it into low gear and it's a little bit more controlled. Oh no, I don't think so. Oh my heavens, no. No, I'm just right. gonna control fall the way nature intended. You're just gonna shunt the engine all the way down. I haven't pressed the accelerator since we started down. <laughs> I 
I may have to, though. It looks like I'm rolling. No, I've stopped. Okay, here we go. Alright, is your engine damaged badly enough that I need to try and repair you? Um, no. It's less than a quarter damaged. Okay. I mean, when I'm by myself, I However, will say that's... I fully just repair everything Oops. upon the, like, slightest bit of damage. Well, now I'm at about a quarter damage. <laughs> Do you want me to repair you? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. How about you let me know when you want repairs? I'll, I'll probably ask for repairs once I stop being able to drive it at all well. Yeah, I this don't... This thing's fragile for such a big truck. It's also had virtually no upgrades to it. And you remember the state it was in when we got it. It was shooting fire, Chris. Trucks should not shoot fire. Yeah. I'm trying my yeah. darndest not to damage anything too badly in this because it doesn't have raised suspension yet. Which is the this only one? downside. That one, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really touched anything. I... I literally only changed it to a fuel truck, like, a minute or two before you showed up. <laughs> ah, well, then I shall assume it is not raised. It doesn't look like it's raised. No, it doesn't. But, apparently, it's in an off-road category, so it should, by its very it nature... It seems to be doing fairly well. Eh. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> I awesome. was trying to give you some space, so I I went too far over. <laughs> oh. oh, I wondered why you were going so far over that way. <laughs> well, you have this habit, Chris, of ramming me if I'm not out of your way. So <laughs> I, was... I don't ram on purpose, it's just if I can't stop in time. Exactly, which is why I was giving you plenty of space. Come on, Bessie! Yeah, there we go. Richard, pull me. <laughs> I can't because you've now stopped all my momentum. There we go. Okay. Pulling! Oh, wait. L plus! Deploy horn! Oh, does this truck have an L plus? I don't know. You're the one with the gearbox in front of you. <gasps> it has L plus! <laughs> I can't remember everything about all my trucks, Chris. I have so many trucks. Richard, they're your trucks. I expect you to have an intimate knowledge of all of them. Most of them I have just stumbled across on the side of the road and then stolen. <laughs> well, look, I expect better from you. Well, all I'll say is expect away, Chris. <laughs> yeah, L+. Plus. Mind you're gone. You. Oh, you're right there, okay. I, I will say that it's a good thing that there is no other people in this world, otherwise I'm sure they'd all be rather put off by our antics. Because, like, this is absolutely a post-apocalyptic world. And that's why all the roads are dirt. Roads haven't and been maintained, ownership. animals are just everywhere. There's only, like, small pockets of civilization still standing and not a single person in sight. See, you say there are animals everywhere, but I only ever see birds, and that's only when we have frightened them from their roosts by honking our enormous horns. Yeah, and you know why? Because humans have died off because of the ecological devastation that has been wrought upon the animal community, and there just wasn't enough food for people, so everyone died. <laughs> Boom! Didn't people think this would get political. Eat birds. Uh, yeah, but what do you think are... chicken is? Yeah, but would you feel particularly comfortable with eating a bird that just phased out of a solid tree? Look, if I was starving to death in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, I would eat any bird, whether or not it phased into or out of anything. It yeah. can phase into my stomach. And I'm sure that that's what the survivors have done because there's at least a handful of survivors who are now trying to you know rebuild the world which is why it's entirely up to us renegade truck people to rebuild roads make bridges where are you by the way oh i see you're just coming very slowly i've yeah, stopped this is the maximum speed i can take up this hill <laughs> 
I'm just so used to this truck being so slow. And yet this one is slower. Well, yeah, I... Admittedly, it is carrying like 900 litres of fuel. Bog truck is slow, Richard. Like, I I'm no genius, but 900 litres of fuel seems like it'd be a heavy load. It's even more if you count the 208 litres I still have in my truck. I'm down to 80. Admittedly, I only started with 130. Giant thing of fuel in the back of me, weighing me down. I don't actually know how much my reserve tank has. I think it's something like 200. That's probably a gross overestimation. Ow. Yeah, there we go. I feel like I'm chasing you, and I'm one of those, like, movie monsters that can only <laughs> go really slowly, but forever. And I'm one of those stupid blondes that keeps stopping and doing the- Oh my god, are they gone? I'm catching up to you. Have I- have I reached safety? Rah! Oh wow, that actually- <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no! Richard, help. Ah, Chris. Okay, okay. I- I gotcha, and then I die. <laughs> I'm like a bee. And now I'm the stupider blonde that feels bad for the movie monster and now must save you, even though you- other thing that was trying to kill me. Uh, oh. Give me a second. I may have to... <laughs> I don't know that you're heavy enough to pull me. <laughs> well, this is why... If you give me a second, I'm going to try and like wedge myself on the tree. Which is much easier if you don't have the handbrake on. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> no, mouse. There we go. Thank you. Okay, uh, there looks like a good anchor. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to lift you up. I don't think you're attached. Are you attached to me? Why can't I help pull? Yeah, I, I was totally attached to you. I wasn't accidentally attached to the tree next to you. <laughs> I know how this game works, Chris. Mm-hmm. Okay, there. And now, if we go to the front... Oh, no, not... I don't... I don't want to show damage! There we go, okay. Uh... Uh, there. Is that attached to you? Yes. Now, what I'm hoping is physics will work the way physics works, and I'll be wedged okay. between yeah. the tree, and then all of the winching power will go to your side. But it just broke. Oh no, that was me. I tried to restart my engine. <sighs> Chris, you can't do that when you're on your side. I like to try and help. I just get the feeling, Chris, that there's nothing this truck can do to fix that truck. Because I can't even, like, roll you all the way over. Maybe if you can unstick me from this tree, my butt's stuck, and I'll continue rolling. Well, that's what I'm trying to to push your front. To just, like, unwedge you. I'm, d I'm deploying horn. Ooh, and lights. I forgot about lights for a second. Am I helping, yeah, Chris? I'm, I'm helping in spirit. Just like Yugi. Uh, oh, because I'm in Logi, not auto. That's why I can't reverse. There we go. Alright. Now. We come over here. Wait. What am I stuck on there? Seriously, what am I stuck oh, on? Oh, yeah, pull me down the hill. <laughs> yes, that was the plan we were going with, I yeah. assumed you you were aware. I don't seem to be moving. Oh, I am this very slowly. Pull, you mighty stallion, pull! I'm a trying! Although I feel like all of your momentum has ceased because of tree. Okay. Well, that's not the way we do. 
That's the oh, way we damaged my engine. Eh. Chris. Chris. I feel like one of us needs to go get another truck. Could I just recover this one and then come back? Uh, remember you can't recover my trucks. Well, I seem to have the option. Oh, mm -hmm. that's right. Give it a go. I can't. You're right. It well, it is because it's yours. Okay, hang on. Let me. Yeah, I was gonna say I can stay here and try and fix this one while you <laughs> use your magical mind powers to go get another truck. Should I bring a fast one, or maybe the one with the crane on it to try and lift me out of this situation? Uh, bring crane truck. Give it a go. Because I've never used it before. I don't know if it's any good. Me neither. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely got a little more pep than the other one. <laughs> Are you at all surprised? Oh, I mean, uh, it sounds like a buggy, though. <laughs> we literally found the blue truck in a swamp, Chris. <laughs> now I'm getting stuck in trees. And there we go. The okay. Controlled fall. Do you remember the way, Chris? Um, it's down the controlled fall, and then. <laughs> Across the river. How have I taken no damage? This is amazing. This truck is great. Ow. Ow. I just took some damage if that helps you. Uh oh. <gasps> no! 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 Did you just flip another truck? No. <laughs> Chris, did. I haven't. Look, I haven't stalled. I, I may be able to winch myself out of this situation. I just... Okay, okay cool. I fixed it. It's all very, very good. <laughs> I mean, I love you, Chris, but there's only so much one person <laughs> can do to help you. Ow. Your feelings... No, my engine. Alright. Alright. Is that where feelings come from? Uh, the feelings of a car, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yes, my feelings. Oh, wow, both the front wheels turn. Uh, I would certainly hope so. And by that I mean both pairs of front <laughs> wheels. All four of your front wheels. Also, this truck always has all-wheel drive and diff lock on. So does purple. Oh, oh, that, oh, oh this truck is Yo! very, oh, damaged. It's very damaged. <laughs> Ow. But what I was going to say is it's significantly lighter than the other one, and as such, much more prone to looking like it's about to roll right the fuck over. Well, you'll be surprised to know, Chris, that I've damaged myself even more while you've been gone. Oh, no. It's okay, though. It's only my engine, nothing important. Richard, I may need you to come and retrieve me. <laughs> See if you can tow me out of this truck. <laughs> this truck uh, does not do mud and water, but, as I just found when okay. I Okay, I'm, I'm coming to you then, Chris. So far, we have done absolutely nothing but getting two trucks stuck in 20 minutes. Look, credit where credit is due, I did both of them. Yes. And, and my tiny little truck, only designed for scouting, mind you, has been doing all the hard work and trying to fix it. <laughs> Especially since the one that you have gotten stuck now is the one that you were bringing to unstuck your stuck truck. Yeah, but being... looking like it's an off road truck with two pairs of front wheels that turn and whatnot. I had assumed that maybe it would be able to handle going across this tiny bit of river. Well, are you back at the river? Like the bit where I was 
sticking too far over to the right so you wouldn't ram me, bit of a ripper. Yes. So you've made virtually no progress at all. Oh my god. No, Chris. because I went plowing into the river and then got stuck. Did you stick to the right hand side of the river? Because the left Look. side is the deepest part where every well, truck gets stuck, including now my Now I good know port. that, don't I? <laughs> I told you that so many times. You told like, me that maybe once when I was in a truck that could go in the left side. Pretty much every time we have got, gone through this except for today, I have told you that. And today I didn't tell you that because I assumed you knew because you followed me. I didn't follow you on the right hand side. I just... Chris. <laughs> Your game knowledge is terrible. It's almost like you play other games. It's almost like when I play games that require problem solving, instead of solving problems, I just brute force my way through things. Because if when... the first way I try doesn't work, I have no imagination. And then when that doesn't work, you just say, help, help, and then either Richard or Anita comes to help. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm making, I am making some progress, but <laughs> very slowly. I came around the corner and all I saw was just your horn noise. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you've released me from my muddy prison. <laughs> Come, Chris! <laughs> I am going the right way, aren't I? I should probably look. Now I have to turn around. Oh, oh wow, that is a very polluting truck. Yes, it is. I feel bad now. Which way did we go then? This way? Yeah. Stick to the left-hand side of that mud, Chris, because no truck I have had goes through the mud, but all the trucks that I have can go around the mud. Don't forget you have a winch that you can winch to trees. I'm winching, I'm winching. You're a winch wench. How do we make this so muddy? This, this truck, despite having two pairs of wheels that steer, Believe it or not, does not steer very well. But wait, Chris, have you activated all-wheel drive? Have you put yes. diff lock on? Yes. Is handbrake turned off? No, hang on. Nah, that didn't help. You I'm know, just stuck on the side of. The oh, I'm you... still going! Oh, the 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 engine on this thing is a beast. It can <laughs> go through a handbrake. <laughs> Almost every truck can, Chris. Just very slowly. How much do you like the engine in this thing? Do you care if I break it by just throttling it through a handbrake? Well, I've not ever used it, so I can't say I'm particularly attached. Now, do you need me to slow down so you can follow? I'm, I'm doing my best to follow. Because there's a singular right-hand turn coming up. Oh no, I can't see you anymore. How will I know where to go? Richard? I've got no object permanence. Well, it's okay. Help. Just Help. follow the next Here guy you show. Oh, it's the one where I rammed you. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what was that? You did what now? Oh, no, I rammed you at a different one, didn't I? Because then yes. I immediately rolled. Yeah. Or but... did I ram you at both? You Who attempted to ram me and then rolled, but you never actually rammed me. Ah. You just got very close. Boo. And you'll notice where that spot is, because I believe there is still a truck rolled over. A monument to all my sins? Yeah. Speaking of a monument to all my sins, we need to play Halo again. We do. Considering like I've got the it... original ones? Like the good ones? Well, I have it downloaded on the Steams. Good. Oh, wow, I just noticed the front of my truck is, like, so messed up. Mm. The horn of this thing is so pissy. I still don't have 
the campaign for the new Halo because they never did implement. What was the new Halo called? <laughs> uh, Infinite. Ah, that's right. Which stands for the infinite disappointment that fans of Halo feel, feel about that game. <laughs> Which, to, look, look, I didn't have high hopes for it, considering the last two were equally shit, apparently. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying equally shit, though I haven't played it. The last two were shit. This one's... I don't know what the actual game is like, but I'm not holding out hope. And they haven't implemented the things they said they would. And also, when you release a campaign as DLC to the free multiplayer, that doesn't say that you've put a lot of effort into the campaign to me. Alright, Chris, fix this problem that you've made. Um, but yeah, like, admittedly, I haven't paid much attention to the plot of Halo, um, what little of it there actually is, but, like... Even I know that it's not going to be a, a good thing when the storyline of the game is not the thing you develop first. Because, like, realistically, any of the Halos could be turned into online multiplayer, like, super easily. Oh, they all had online multiplayer. Yeah. But the but, campaign came first. Exactly. Which is what they need to focus on. I'm helping Chris. I'm pushing. And I'm trying to attach again. But to a different spot. Okay. It sucks that we can't both attach at the same time. No, I'm just succeeding at pulling myself towards it. Okay. What if... <laughs> Do you want me to take the bigger I truck? activate anchor, and then I enter crane mode. <laughs> and then I high-five the wheels. Oh no, I'm just dragging myself to the it. <laughs> oh, Chris. Okay, look, Richard. Richard. <laughs> we may need to just recover that truck <laughs> unless you want to have a go look here hang on i'll go into the broken truck and you can have a go at trying oh, to fix what i've done that was just so brilliant okay here <laughs> let me move my my good truck turn the engine off and uh, change truck to the krs 58 bandit uh now I do this. Okay. Okay. We come over here. We get close enough. Eh, come on, camera. There we go. All right. Uh, how do I? Um, no. Yeah, but how do I... Oh, it's down here. That's why I couldn't see it. Okay, now... Uh... Alright, you... No. No, okay. Okay, there. Alright! Uh... Whoops, sorry. I bumped the the detach button. I I have so many buttons to try and get here, Chris. I don't need you to. Uh... Oh my god! Ah! Oh. Do that detach. That looked like it was working. There, to there. And pull. Cause I rise like well, a phoenix. I'm bending a tree at the very least. The butt is shunting. I can't actually see what's happening. Cause. <laughs> oh my it god. It's no longer moving. 
Wait, there we go, okay. Uh, you. Is it too far away? Okay, let's just too far away. Alright, attach! Pull! Uh, F to go down. That one to go out. Shunt another tree. Are we doing it? Are we helping? Um, it's very slowly sliding around. <laughs> Camera, can, can we just... There we go, okay. So, that's... Alright, that seems to be the pull button. Eh, I need more hands to operate all these <laughs> buttons for the crane. <laughs> you right. wouldn't if you were using a controller. Holy shit! Okay, okay, okay. Now, this well, way... we've succeeded in dragging the truck around. However, not flipping it. Okay, now, pull! Oh, I'm sorry, Chris, but I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 buttons to try and work with here. It, it is exactly a... Uh, all 14 of those buttons in really easy reach of you? Uh, a keyboard. A controller. Okay, and now we have that. It also doesn't help that the camera is just the worst thing ever. Can we... Me roll you over. Okay, no. Let go. Now we want to grab. We'll grab the top one. Lift. Turning. Trying to flip it onto its back. If we can turn the camera. Okay. So we need this to go up. Need this to go over. I feel as though I am making absolutely no progress doing that. So, now, how do I lower? There we go. And then push! <laughs> this is doing nothing! And then pull. Uh, rotate cargo. Mm, I don't think that's helping. Okay. All right. All right. Bring it back in. Uh, oh. Lift. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, actually, do that again. That looked like it was doing something. Hmm. Shall I also attempt... Oh no, we can't both winch it, can we? Well, I'm currently not winched. So, go for your life. What are we aiming for? Where shall I attempt to winch? Well, I'm trying to roll it over. So, if you grab, like, the top back middle bit... Ah, uh, so not the bottom back middle bit? No, the top back middle bit. And then, with that should be able to, like, yeah, go backwards and pull it while I push. And it should hopefully go flip our own ease. I mean, we are moving it. We're sort of just dragging it back down the hill, though. Uh, oh, there we go. My game was thinking for a second. Okay. Alright, that's not working anymore. So, what I'll do is I'll grab that bit. And I'll raise up high. What if I 
push it. Push it real good? <laughs> well, I'm gonna say, since we have spent another 15 minutes attempting to turn this thing and have had exactly zero progress, that we might just recover it. Uh, how do I get out of this? Little? Zero. There we go. Okay. I'm going to recover this truck. Uh, okay. Um, release winch. Recover. Because that one was mostly tipped over anyway. <laughs> Alright. Big Red, you can come over back now. Wait, hang on. Let me let me refuel this car for you. Well, okay. I don't think this is bound to be the tipped it over one. Yeah. Uh, oh. And I've turned this car off. <laughs> Here, there we go. Okay. Recover. Leave garage. All right, Chris. I'm thinking. I might take the blue one, and you can keep the purple one. Oh. How's that? Or, how about this? But I was doing so well until I rammed you. <laughs> how about I then bring you the blue one, and then we swap when I get down there? Okay. Since you're so adamant to do it yourself. Like a big boy. I was doing really well until I went to ram you and then rolled. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't describe doing really well. <laughs> it describes doing not very well. Although, having said that, I did just flip, so... Yeah, see, I didn't do it over there. Yes, but see, the difference is... I did it not very far into it. And can easily fix it myself. You I didn't made it a know. whole thing. <laughs> Look, you didn't have to <laughs> um, double down on trying to fix what I did. You could have recovered that thing at any time. I could have, but you said you wanted it recovered, so I am nothing if not helpful. And I put all the consequences onto you. Because I'm a good friend. Ow! Jesus! Ow, what the hell? Seriously, what the actual hell truck? It just sort of crumpled in on itself. I came wow. back to your garage, Richard. I was going to escort you <laughs> on the truck. Did you want me to do it since I didn't have trouble doing this? <laughs> well, everything was all fine up until, like, a tiny rock just made it sort of flip and crumple. And, like, the oh, suspension see? died in no time at all. It's not so easy, is it? Do you well, now appreciate my skill in getting it all the way to where I did before I ruined everything? <laughs> I will I will fully admit, and this is something that I admit well before this, that in terms of using less upgraded trucks, you have much more skill than I do. But I feel like a large part of that comes down to the fact that I actually just upgrade my trucks to be the way that I drive them. So, yes, I will admit that you do better in these situations than I. However, when you're not doing better in those situations, it's so easy for me to throw shade at you. Because, <laughs> I mean, you make such an easy target because you always bite. All you have to do, because Chris, I'm is just... Because I'm emotionally volatile. You just have to simply not react at all. I can't do that, Richard. I don't know. You, you can, and you have in the past. And I don't like having to do that. <laughs> it's much more satisfying to bite. Yes, <clears throat> but you see, every time you bite, it reinforces my behavior. Well, and... maybe you should just try being a good friend. Mmm, that doesn't sound right. 
What would a good friend do in these situations, Chris? Um, acknowledge my greatness and be like, wow, Chris, I rolled this truck three times at, right out of the gate when you rolled it once real good across a great many obstacles away. Okay, okay, okay. Um, whew, let me get into character. Uh, I'm a good friend. I like my friends and I want them to be in my life for a long time and I'm a positive person. All right, here we go. And action. Oh my God, Chris, it's amazing how good at this game you are. And I have to say that I'm just impressed at how you went so far without flipping this truck. And like you had fun doing it. And you made me laugh right up until the point that you did it. And you made, even made me laugh while it was happening because you're a good person and I really, really like your company and am just in awe of your general skill when it comes to gaming. And I would love if you would be able to continue helping me in every way that you currently do. Ah, oh, gee, Richard, I really appreciate that, and the sincerity I can really hear in your voice. <laughs> Which is why I know you won't mind me just tacking onto your butt and dragging me through this swamp. <laughs> nah, not at all. I've got low plus. <laughs> so did I do it? Did I pass? Am I a good friend now? It was very convincing. Yeah! Should I give you a real compliment now? <laughs> or would that ruin the moment? I'm, I'm, no, I'm happy with fake compliment. Okay. <laughs> Don't shatter the illusion. <laughs> Don't make it seem like we're actually friends. My disbelief has been suspended. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be damned if it goes back in place. <laughs> I can see your headlights through the hill. Good. It means they're working. You really don't have to stop for me, by the way. You can keep going. I know the way. You're my friend, and I like to spend time with you. <laughs> we are spending time together. We just don't have to spend it together, you know? Like, it's always good to have just that little bit of space. Although I like how when my truck covers your truck, I can still see your tail lights Piercing the, the veil of my... My entire metal truck. That's how you know they're good ones. They're the LEDs. Hmm. <clears throat> All the old halogen ones, because they were bright as fuck. These things will last forever. That is another old man yells at the sky thing. I hate when people have the ultra bright headlights in a city. And, like, you're driving along at night with all of the streetlights on and, like, you can see clear as day and they still have these bright-ass headlights that are blinding everyone. And what then you flash them and then they give you a flash and you're just like, Oh, Jesus, my retinas! That's not even your high beam? <laughs> <laughs> I've had that moment so many times. This isn't even my it. final form. <laughs> It's over 9,000 lumens! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> but my, my favorite along the same vein are the people that drive around suburbia with their high beams on. Yeah. Yeah. I only like, ever God, really... The, the fucking street lights are not that far apart. Mm. The you only drive time... around without them on. The only time I will ever put my high beams on is if it's in the highway at night. <laughs> and I simply just try to avoid the highway at night. Because so many people don't understand. Just because you are a kilometre or two away doesn't mean that your high beams still aren't so bl you know, bright and blinding that I now can't see any of the road. Oh, yeah. God, people annoy me. Me too. You know what the world needs? Needs more introverts. If, yes, 100%. Because, like, even the most assholish introvert will still 
not go out of their way to aggravate other people because that might then make them have to interact with that person. Right. Whereas, like, <clears throat> the nicest extrovert will still have, like, great moments of asshole just because they want to interact with another person. Wow, this thing is so heavy, it just rolls down the hill with the handbrake on. Um, are we swapping? Yeah. Okay, change truck, I'll go to my purple. <clears throat> Swap uh, truck! Yeah. There we go. Okay, okay. Engine's on. Now let's roll, baby. Oh. 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 I don't know if this thing will make it around that bend without skipping. Uh... Give me a and second. I cannot go backwards. Give me a second. Give me a second. Is that you? Nope, that looks yep. like it's a treat. Oh, I see, it's because you... Oh, okay, cool. So you, you've winched to me? Alright, I'll try my best to... I am trying to turn. This truck is not keen on turning. <laughs> Hang on, let me try to go backwards. Uh, oh, backwards this way. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Oh, oh. I need to be faster with my winchy. Oh, oh. Onto that. Okay. I got it. Oh, I got it. Wrong button. There we go. Okay. L plus. Yay. Oh, yeah. L plus. There we go. There we go. It's the thing that you Hell always yeah. get so excited about, yet somehow always forget. Alright. Are you good to be by yourself? Because I think so. I I may need a smidge of room. You are pushing me. There we go. The okay, cool. Just succeeded in climbing <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you were wedging me between the tree. <laughs> <laughs> there was hardly so much I could do. <laughs> All right, 47 minutes, and we're not even at the tunnel yet to go to the new area. <laughs> <laughs> but look how much fun we've had along the way. I just... I feel like this is our eSport, Chris. Oh, I mean, God. We're just so good okay. at it. Going? No, I'm going to wait to that to stop myself from tipping any further in that direction. You need a you need a winch, is buddy. This thing is really heavy. Top heavy. Mm. With all this fuel in it. Mm. It's almost and very light. rounded edges <laughs> make it very nice for tipping. Why aren't I moving? I don't know. Oh, I okay, hang on. What if I what if I don't low? No, I actually am just stuck. Oh, I what see. am I cool. stuck on? Am I stuck on anything, or is this? truck just not powerful enough to make it up there. I think it was just having a, a truck moment. <clears throat> if, if there weren't aspects of society that were so damn convenient, I would absolutely live as a hermit in the country and never have any contact with anybody. Oh, yeah. I think the biggest thing for me is food and water. Like, yes. I probably could live by myself and get my own food and water and all that, but it would just take up so much time and effort that, like, it's a full-time job by itself, which is the main thing, like, I would be trying to get away from. Um, because who wouldn't want to not have a full-time job and just enjoy life for the rest of their life? And then, like... I'm very lazy when it comes to food. I don't like cooking. And if I was a hermit, I'd have to cook. No one's going to Uber Eats to the top of a mountain where I'm in my seclusion. Yeah, that's one of those things. It's one of those uh, convenient things. Like the internet. Mm. And movies and like other forms of entertainment. Like... As someone who right now is using the internet in like three different ways, I probably could live without internet again, but I know it wouldn't be as enjoyable of a life. 
I agree. I probably could since, like, we did it as kids. But in that case, I would definitely need to live in a commune with you, Anita, and Maddie. <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest problem there would be Maddie. He doesn't do well without lots of people. Oh, no. He's, he's, he's very much the stereotypical <clears throat> um, extrovert. <laughs> Which makes no sense as to why we get along so well. That is interesting. I was about to say, how did you let that happen? <laughs> Sometimes I will admit I'll sit there and like we'll have a a weekend just in the house, and I'll be like, oh, this is such a good weekend, just the two of us. Like, we didn't have to stress, we didn't have to get dressed or annoy anybody or be annoyed by anybody. Like, oh, so good. And then Maddie will be like, oh my god, I can't wait to go to work to see people again and talk to them. I'm like, oh, what's wrong with you? Oh my god, is he insane? Right? And like, I, admittedly, I am quite a bit of a lazy person. I will freely admit that, and I've known that about myself for quite some time. But like, when we go on holidays, our holidaying style is very different in that... I like to do stuff, but I like to do, like, one thing a day. Maddie likes to cram the day full with as much stuff as possible. We have very similar wants out of holidays. Like, I, I agree. One thing a day. Like, when on Melbourne trips... Oh, we're I going the have, wrong way like, to get to the is... tower. Oh. Alright, Chris, we're going directly to the tower. Straight up. I'm going to roll if I do that. <laughs> well, it's either that or we turn around and go to the other road. I'm going to roll if we do that. <laughs> well... Oh, Richard, I might roll anyway! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yes. Let me... Oh, yeah, because this worked so well last time. Well, we're in a different spot, Chris. I don't necessarily need to get you up the hill. I just need you on your feet. Go horn! I'm spirit horning. But yeah, like, when we went down to Antarctica, and most of it was on the cruise ship where you literally had nothing you could do, he still wanted to fill the day with so much stuff. I'm like, this... There's nothing to do. How are you filling our days with so much stuff when there's literal nothing for us to do on this boat? And even then, we still somehow didn't do all of the things that he wanted us to do. And like, can we just... Can we just lay? Lay down? <laughs> oh, I see. You're pulling the winch. Okay, Chris, can you not pull the winch, please? I'm trying to get some slack so I can get a run up. Ah, oh, okay. So what I'm hearing is I should stop helping. <laughs> uh, temporarily, yes. Mm. But yeah, like, sometimes I just, I sit and I'm like, how, how did I get myself into this situation with this, like, extreme extrovert? Ow! Well, apparently I have a little bit more slack than I thought I did. Mm. <laughs> I just ran the pole for no reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought, oh yeah, this little thing will cut tight and stop before then. Nah. Nah, I didn't. Am I doing it? Am I helping? I mean, oh, oh, yes, yes! Come on! Ooh, there yes! you go. Oh, okay. Yes! Uh, See? We can do these things, Chris. Winch to me, Daddy. That's not me. I don't think I'm winched to you. Hang on. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I was pressing I the wrong might, direction. I might tip again. Uh. Ah! Are you stalled, or are you still good? I'm not stalled, but I am tipped. Oh, 
because I'm on the wrong winch point. Okay, 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 okay. Give me a second, Chris. I have to get my truck in the right spot. Alright, welcome back. There we go, okay. Now, again, don't pull the thingy. I need to... Ah, the temptation to pull is great. I know, that's why I said not to, because I knew you were going to. Alright, and then... Oh! oh God damn it, wrong button. Uh, speak of the extrovert. Now he just sent me a message, I just gotta quickly reply. See? He heard us talking and wanted to be in the conversation. What's he doing? Is he out talking to people? Uh, well, he's currently at work, and his work this week is very much talking to a lot of people and doing a lot of extrovert things. He must be loving it. Because he's fabulous. Yeah. Pulling. Pulling. Can I pull winch? Yeah, I'm trying to, and it's not really helping. Oh, yes. Chris, turn your wheels the other way. Yeah. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes Richard, go. <laughs> oh, you magnificent bastard. My little truck looks like it's just humping yes! the ground. <laughs> I okay. am, however, stuck. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm I'm getting there one problem at a time, Chris. One problem at a time. Alright, okay, okay, alright, alright, okay. Here we go. Pulling. Now drive, Chris, drive. drive. Point your wheels the other way. Point them to the other direction. Yeah. There yeah. we go. See? We turned you around. All right. Do you need any repairs, by the way? Um. Yes, my engine and suspension are both about half. Okay. Okay. Let me oh, get up close and see if I can do that thing to your truck, or if it's like last time where you'll have to do that thing with my truck because it won't let me do that thing to your truck. Uh. Huh? Aha. There you go. You let me do it! Huzzah! Alright. Now, the choice is either straight up the hill or we go to the other road. I'm going to say, considering how much we've flipped already, probably the other road. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, do you want to lead or do you want me to lead? You lead. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. And then we want this one to go there. Yeah, we have to take this opportunity there. to refuel. Wait, did I just refuel from you? <laughs> well, I am missing five liters, but I feel like that's better than what I had. Well, wait, now I'm, wait, full. No. I'm full. I refueled you. Yeah, so <laughs> refuel you. Alright. That's better. I think I refueled you using me, <laughs> and, and not the um, petrol tank. Good. That's how you like it, right? Yeah, it is. It makes me feel like I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder sometimes with those giant ass fuel trucks why they don't just have like a line connecting to the actual truck. Because that would probably be theft. Well, no, because they're the trucks hired by that company to do the fuel running. We're yeah, going right, Chris. Eating the profits, Richard. There's so much profits, though, Chris. Alright, I'm gonna... There's a lot of money in dead dinosaurs. I'm gonna be here close, just in case you need me. Um, oh. I may need me to... Oh, thank you. Thank you, that was actually exactly what I needed, Chris. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I ran over a tree to try and clear it for you, and then my truck was just on top of the thing. Allow me to try and push you. It's okay, I'm winching. I'm winching as well, Chris. Yay. There we go. Alright, now do you need me to pull you? It, it is nice to have a, an obligatory extrovert in the group because they're the ones that get shit done. And like, I, 
as much as the reason why fun <laughs> things happen because left left to my own devices i will gladly like speculate about all the fun things i want to do but i won't take steps to do them i will also <laughs> say as much as i have been complaining about extroverts and everything that they do maddie is the only thing currently like tying me and my family together because i keep forgetting that i like need to talk to them and to like interact with them in ways <laughs> and he's just like hey have you uh talked to your brother about your niece and her birthday and i'm like yes that and he's like ah, okay well do it now and i'm like okay and he's like oh also have you asked her asked him like what they want for for christmas and i'm like yeah christmas that's a thing <laughs> <laughs> And, like, even stuff at work, he'll be, like... I'll be talking to s about something and complaining, like, horrendously the entire time. And he'll be like, this person, they like this stuff, right? And I'm like, how do you know that? You've not even met these people. He's like, eh, you've talked about it. I'm like, yeah, but how do you remember this stuff? I barely remember this stuff, and I interact with them every day. He is a wonder. And, like, our whole reason for learning people management skills is very different. Like, I specifically learnt how to do the emotional intelligence and people management and communication methods and all that business so I wouldn't have to interact with people as much. Where he learnt it all so he would be able to interact with people a lot more and a lot easier. And I'm just like... Yeah, we're, we're fundamentally different people in that respect. <laughs> That's amazing. What, what am I stuck on? See, I didn't peg Maddie as an introvert. I mean, an extrovert. I, I know he gets shit done, but he's not draining to be around. Yeah, that's because he's learnt all of these techniques and deploys them properly. Where, for me, I mostly use it to manipulate people to either leave me alone or to do what I want with the least amount of effort. Because, like... We, I have a problem at work at the moment that Maddie has dealt with as well, and our approaches are very different. Oh, there is no bridge on this side. Uh... <clears throat> We should be able to go <clears throat> this way. I believe in us, Chris. Alright. We're going to the left. Because according to the map, there's there's land on the left. Oh, ow. Sorry. Seriously, what am I stuck on? Why is my truck getting stuck on nothing? There's a tree there. Look, I'll push you through it. Look, there wasn't a tree on my screen. I mean, I'm now getting pushed into some branches, but it is helping. <laughs> all right, all right. This I appear to be most to this. Stuck. Okay, well, let me winch over here, and then you can use me as a winch point. Or you can just winch onto these trees next to me currently. I don't know what I'm attached to. I think the tree right in front of you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. I'm just gonna let myself settle. Uh, before I tip. I was gonna say you weren't moving at all on my screen. Okay, I'm actually proper good, good stuck. Oh, and my winch point broke. Well, let me know if you need me to be a winch point for you, Chris. I'll be your anchor. Either I'm just winching really slowly or I'm stuck on something. Well, I keep getting, like, mildly stuck on stuff while I'm winching. So I think it's just a case of it's just very deep mud. But yeah, you see this stuff right here? Th this is what this truck was built for. 
not no. what we were doing, which was pushing cargo around. <laughs> I don't understand. Pushing um, cargo is the most efficient way to get it around. But yes, I was telling you about the workplace drama that I have that Maddie deals with appropriately that I don't. Ah, uh, yes. Um, so my current manager... Uh, has turned the corner to be a full-blown micromanager. Oh, I love micromanagement. Yeah. So, my approach with dealing with a micromanager is twofold. One, I leave as soon as I can. Um, but two, I will only do what they ask, when they ask, and how they ask me to do it, and nothing more. Because... Like, specifically with this lady, I got in trouble for doing work ahead of schedule. Why is that a bad thing? Because she didn't think it could be done. And because she didn't think it could be done, it meant that it shouldn't be getting done. Right. Yeah. So, I was not allowed to do that work and got in trouble and she sent me many an email telling me how I'm like pretty much bad at my job and I'm not allowed to actually do anything without her exact authorization. What a bitch. The way Maddie deals with that sort of stuff is he basically talks to the person, lets them know how they're being inappropriate, uh, works through their issues with them and basically tries to make them a better manager. And I'm just like, you're a weirdo. Just cut that person loose. Yeah, my, no my job is not to better other people. <laughs> Do as much damage control as you can until you are out of that situation. At which point, there's somebody else's problem. And yeah, I think that kind of summarizes how me and Maddie differ quite a lot when it comes to people management. Like, he very much tries to shape people into what they can be, where I just try to not deal with them for as much as I can. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. I see how it is, game. I'm going the difficult way, apparently. Alright. Here. Put over here. This truck is exactly not built for this kind of ground. I can see why it was bogged. Would you like to swap trucks? And I will try and get that one out. And or would you like me to come back to be a winch? Well, I'm sort of alternating between dragging my front end towards trees and dragging my ass towards trees, but I seem to be reaching the end of trees. Well, when you get a smidge closer and actually have a winch point, I'll be able to winch to you, because I have an extra long winch on this. Come on. You just, you're Can so you close. Reach me? No, I need you to no. be a smidge closer. Alternatively, like, I could just try and get closer to you. Yeah. 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 To pull. Okay. And can I reach from here? No, still can't reach. Okay. Well, then this. This to this to pull. There we go. Uh, oh. This to this to pull. Alright, I am pulling, Chris. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reversing gear. I am pulling! Are you I feel moving like at I'm all? I'm just pulling you towards me. <laughs> Yeah, but I can get back to where I was relatively easy. Okay. Okay. This to this to pull. 
Because you see, what I'll do, Chris, is I'll just be the middleman to keep pulling you until you're close enough to some winch points for you to winch you. Alright, ready, steady, pull! Yes, truck, get bogged. Not your truck, my truck. Okay, and then turn camera. This. Yeah, the honking does not help in this situation. To this. To reverse. Oh, but also the other reason um, why I have decided to just get a new job so early on in this one uh, is that the big boss... Are you driving? Um, the big boss apparently saw absolutely no problems with the other manager doing the micromanagement. And they were a bit surprised even when I said that. And I went, you've been CC'd into all of the emails. And there was a lot. Like, in a 20-minute span, there was, like, five, like, two A4 page emails. Wow. What am I stuck on? Why can't I get Why up this thing? Why aren't you being thing? just a happy little automaton, Richard? Well, you see, this is the thing. I was being relatively happy in that position, and the only thing I ask for in these situations is autonomy to actually do the job that I was employed to do. Alright, Chris. Ready? Pull! But yeah, the, the linchpin of all of this was I had the audacity to set up meetings with the people who can give me content for me to get the content, to put in the content plan for the redevelopment of the website. The thing that I am, in fact, employed to do. But apparently, that's a no-no. I shouldn't be dealing with those people. Even though my... Um, my actual title is Engagement Coordinator, and I'm like, you got... You're, you're upset because I'm engaging and coordinating that engagement? I'm getting there, Chris. I'm getting there. Okay. Ready? I'm going to be low plus and go, Chris. Go. Go. Hell yes. Oh, and I am <laughs> not... Oh, you getting there? Moving. You getting there, a smidge? I don't think my horn's gonna help because I'm being pulled backwards. Okay. All right. Do you have access to any winch points yet? <laughs> oh, I'm connected to something. Is it actually pulling you? Whatever it is, it's not moving, which means it's a good one. I think it's a log. Although there's an invisible structure here that is growing up with my camera. Alright, let me unwinch from that log and you can take it. Oh, okay. Let me get a solid tree. There we go. Alright. So there's a log right next to me that you should be able to winch on. Apparently, I'm just dragging my owner. Oh no. Owner. I'm stuck on something. Okay, hold on. Let me. Let me get me over this way. So then I can be behind this bit of wood. Oh, I think the thing I'm stuck on was my winch point that I used earlier. <laughs> well, yeah, they only have a certain amount of life in them, Chris. Oh. If I can pull my... Yes! Come on! Ah, oh, you're just that little bit too far away. Oh, 
Come on, Big Blue, I believe in you. Ha ha! Oh, did you unwinch from me? You did. I didn't know that I was winched to you. Yeah, I winched onto you so you could come this way. Ow. It's work, egg. Kind of. I am sort of being turned against my will, but <laughs> that's a problem that I can deal with now. And that's what I call pod racing. I don't get why people like Star Wars that much. I mean, it's it's an okay series. Like, that, that, there's good parts, there's a lot of bad parts. Honestly, the ones that I like the most are the prequels that everybody hates. And I just don't understand why so many people hate them so much. Like, they're the most quotable ones. Yeah. Like, the only character I like in those movies is Palpatine. Um, but, like, all of them have terrible pacing. Like, it doesn't matter which trilogy they're from. The pacing is terrible, and they're filled with large swathes of fucking nothing happening mm -hmm. to characters I do not care about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think, in theory, like, the idea is a good idea. But the execution is terrible. Like, I... I like the powers that the Jedi and the Sith and all them have. But none of them use it properly. Like... Hoping not to roll. I can winch you again if you want. You just gotta let go. Oh, Richard, no! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the little truck is the one that's the more threatening of the two right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real paradigm shift. Uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about Star Wars, right. Um, oh, yeah, well. like... You want some petrol? I was stopping to put some markers down. Um, but yeah, I'll take some petrol. I just realized I'm down to 40 litres. 38. But even even something as simple as the force pushing. Thank you. Um, none of them use it effectively. Because, like, you guys could do two force pushes on either side of someone's knee and blow out their kneecap and they can't fight anymore. Like compared to say it. compared Air to a lot, are the superior Jedi. <laughs> oh, Airbenders could absolutely destroy Jedi's. Like every single bender in that universe could ruin any Jedi or Sith, in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> mind you, the the fan theory that I like the most. Um, oh, do we have to go left or right? Uh, right. Um, the fan theory I like the most about all of that is that the airbenders are actually the strongest of all the benders. And I'm like, that... and that's why they're peaceful hermits, because they know they could just wreck everybody's shit. Well, possibly, but it didn't really get into that aspect of it. But I'm like, it does kind of make sense because, like, you very often see a singular airbender creating, like, a tornado quite a lot and like you could say oh yeah that's just those are just the masters doing it and it's like no one of them was a child so like obviously it's not that difficult if a child has that sort of power to do it in fact two of them were children I'm I'm curious what the next level of airbender is like if fire turns into electricity and water turns into blood bending, and earth bending turns into metal bending, and lava what bending. What the hell? What the hell does fucking air bending turn into? 
Uh, you stay there, I'll get the tower. Oh, I was intending to. <laughs> okay. Good, good. Um... When I saw so, you going into Swamp, I was like, oh, wait here for you, Richard. Um, so, pretty much from my understanding is that a lot of the airbenders... Um, wait, what, why are you... No, why are you winching? Stop that. Stop winching. There we go. Um, yeah, a lot of the airbenders were like really, really good at doing the spirit bending, um, which is the theory of why they were monks. Um, so a lot of people say it's the spirit bending is their ultimate form, but I, I don't know. I reckon they could be pretty good blood benders too, considering they just control the oxygen in the person's blood. Done. Problem solved. They'd at the very least be able to put out fires and control where fires go, so while they may not be able to create fire, they could be a you know half decent firebender. Um, they can do sand bending, because well, there's a lot of air between sand. Mind you, I still just want one of the either earthbenders or airbenders to just shred someone alive with the sand, because it would be just horrific. And that's what people want in their children's TV shows. Violence? Yeah. I mean, just name any children's cartoon that doesn't have violence. Uh, there's no... There's no upgrades or anything here. Let's go to this tower, then. It's like teenage... Define cartoon. Does, does stop motion count as cartoon? Uh, I'll allow it. Postman Pat. Thomas the Tank Engine. I'll give you Postman Pat, but Thomas the Tank Engine, I would argue, has a lot of emotional violence in it. We didn't specify emotional violence was also violence. Uh, yes, but Chris, you, you are forgetting that if they have reduced someone's options, that is violence. Oh my god, don't get me started on that <laughs> Holy shit. What a warped sense of what violence is. Right. Every time... Like, like, tell I... me you're, you play the victim card a lot without telling me you play the victim <laughs> card a lot. I will admit, every now and then, I'll just be going through my day, and I'll just remember that that was a thing that someone genuinely thought, and thought, you know what? I'm going to tell people about this theory, unironically saying that, yep, this is violence. What? How am I stuck? Oh, I see. Uh, I may need to go back. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry, it broke. There was a tree in my engine. Right. Yeah, but we're good now. Like, if you're going to definitionally, definitionally define violence as literally everything... There is no such thing as a game without violence. Yeah. There is no media that does not involve violence in that context. Mm. It's just... Even fucking yeah. puzzle games. Like, if you play anything competitively, like, if you play competitive Tetris, like, versus another person, that game would involve violence under Ow. that definition. Sudoku is a very violent game. Because you're trying to tell those numbers where to be? Well, yeah, because when it starts, they have so many possibilities as to where they could be, and then you narrow it down and keep putting numbers and telling them where they can be. And then suddenly, they have no options because that's where they have to be. Sounds pretty violent to me. What a weird person she was. <laughs> I would love to have a conversation with her just to find out how the fuck she got such a weird fucked up version of what violence is. Like, I can understand the generalized concept, uh, concept she was going with, which is like, if you forcibly take away someone's options, that can be a type of violence. And that is not the be all or end all of violence. No, and that's like, a very I, specific type of violence. Yeah, I can and understand it. Violent in some respects. I can understand it as a 
type of under certain situations, but not the definition. So, like, logically, I know how she probably got there, but at the same time, I'm like, you're just so dumb, woman. She took it too far. Yeah. And also, her description of it was, was not well said. I think the biggest thing for me was just the complete conviction in her argument that you could tell she 100% fully believed that. And, like, her statement was not ironic or, you know, with any of the concessions of, oh, you know, in this, like, type of situation, this is how I would define violence. None of that. Yeah. It was just, this is violence. Yeah, 100%. This is, like, if you disagree, you're wrong, and you're probably guilty of acting violence upon someone. If you disagree, you're taking away my option, and that is violence, and I will not tolerate that, sir. It's such an absurd stance to take. <laughs> I think my favourite part, though, about all of it is just the audience's reaction as well. Like... You could tell the moment she said that everyone just sort of clamped up and just went, we're in for a wild ride. <laughs> even I the, had a moment of, wait, what? <laughs> even, like, the other panellists, like, there was a, a brief moment that if you weren't paying enough attention, you would have missed it, where they all just sort of gave her a quick side eye and just went, are you fucking serious? And I was like, oh my god, they did not rehearse this part at all. I feel like she was possibly a late entry. <laughs> I don't think she thought through her argument very well. Oh no, that was evidence from, from the beginning. You wanna push? No, I'll get a pull. Because I can reach the pole. Because I'm a big boy. I got PP standing up. Like. Yeah, I agree, not every game has to be overtly violent, but what's wrong with violence in games? I Violence think... in games is arguably m much healthier outlet for that particular thing than anywhere else. Yeah, like, I think you're doing it they're... in a controlled system with no consequences in the outside world. And the other thing is, like, violence is an ingrained human nature like people have the tried of life people have tried so many ways to like make people not violent and every single one of them has turned out bad and like admittedly i'm not a psychologist or anything but i automize the violence out of them richard <laughs> i would argue that if you we're we going through the swamp again well there's an upgrade over there that i want you can stay here if you want um, but yeah, I would argue I that if you took away violence from people, like, you would take away a large part of their instinctual identity at the very least. Because, like, I'm not a very instinctually violent person. I will tend to run away from, like, conflict as opposed to stand and fight, like, most of my family. But... but Having there's said also, that, though... there's, like, so many parts of me where I could, like, resort to violence, and I consciously choose not to. Because, well, there there's a lot of people... There are forms people. of violence that are less bad than others, like... It, it, violence, it depends on how you're using it. Mm -hmm. and, and no form of life on this planet is without violence. Like, even plants, when you speed up... Why am I going backwards? I don't know. The one that I would probably say is closest to not violent is the quokka. But even then, it like they still have to eat stuff. And I don't actually know what quokkas eat, but... They're the ones that have no natural predators, so they don't, like, have fear and violence is not one of their natural reactions to things. How do they compete for mating? Uh, I'm not a, a biologist, Chris. Because 
I can almost guarantee that we'll have violence in there somewhere, especially if you're using that crazy chick's definition of it. Wait, is that a truck we can get at the end of this road? And also... Ow. Uh, that would... Assuming they're, they're vegetarian, that would imply that you feel that violence cannot be acted upon a plant. Well, you see, this is the... The argument I was having of, like, you could still argue they are being violent to the plants. Because they have to eat. But this is the other thing. Like, a lot of people don't consider plants in terms of, like, violence and stuff. Holy but... shit. Plants can be so incredibly violent. Like, I've huh. seen, in whichever David Attenborough documentary it was, like, the footage sped up of plants competing with each other. And it is... At speed? <laughs> Horrifically so violent. So violent, yeah. Yeah. Mind you, I've also worked with and dealt with people that were not convinced plants were alive. What? Mm-hmm. To which my question for them how? that they were Why? not able to answer was, was, then how do they grow? And they're like, oh, they just do. And I went, living things grow, yes, but if they're not alive, then they wouldn't grow. Like Ice grows. Ice expands because there's just more water that is converting to ice. Ice itself I is not... because when I eat things, <laughs> I convert it into me. <laughs> yes, but some could argue that that is you growing fat, not you converting one element into a different state. Because ice is still just water. It's just hard water. Same as if you melt a whole bunch of um, metals into a liquid. When you combine them, it, it didn't grow. You just have more of that thing. Ah, we can't take this truck. I feel like we would have to do this task. Yeah, it's a reward for this task. Ah. Uh, this crying shame way some people treat their stuff. This truck must have been Cowboy Cadillac back in the day. Now it's a total heap. If you can get it running out here... Oh, do I just have to repair it? Is that all I have to do? What's wrong with it? Well, it just said if you can get it running, it's all yours. Huh. Uh, Western Star, here we go. Uh, well, let's start. What? Why don't I have any? I don't have any repair points left. Why don't I have repair points left? I don't know. I don't. I had like... Oh, is that because you repaired me earlier? Uh, because your one wasn't... Because your one is a big truck. Okay, well... Oh, well. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> At least now I know what I have to do to get that truck. So that's good. Uh, let's go this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I would say probably one of the more fascinating and arguably ill-defined forms of violence would be, like, psychological violence. Because, like, something that someone does that they're not intending to have any negative consequences for can be dramatically impactful in a negative way onto the other person. Like, I have been accused a few times of bullying people that I barely speak to. And like, one That's time... How I got, are you doing that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, at one point I got accused of bullying someone and I went, who? And they told me their name and I went, I don't even know who that is. And they were like, what? And I was like, yeah, I have no clue who that is. And they showed me a picture and I went, I wouldn't say I've even met that person. And they were like, uh, they work here, Rich. And I went, yeah, do you know how many people work here? 
I don't remember them all. I made a lot of people. And they're like, oh, okay. Um, but sure as shit, next time I saw them, I went, you're the one that accused me of bullying you. What? Did they say how? No. And when they got asked to put it on the official record and, you like, write it down and have witness statements and everything, they then withdrew their complaint. So you know, what I'm hearing is that they just don't like you. Yeah. And they wanted to get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah. But, well, that's the Northern Territory for you. It's a grand old place where nobody's homophobic. Wow. Why am it I drifting like to the right? Is it because I was touching you? Possibly. It's okay, I'll pull myself to this tree. I'll save me! <laughs> I was expecting you to do the, not if I have anything to do with it. Well, I was thinking about it. <laughs> I was like, and then you can save me! And I was going to attach to you, but I decided not to. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm mildly stuck, so this is a perfect time to see where the road bit is. Sometimes I just really wish these labels would get out of the way. Like, why do we have to label everything, Chris? We're going left. Wait for me! Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> My <Boring> butt! Me. <laughs> Mind you, I still just absolutely love that time that I got pulled up for being homophobic. <laughs> I just... I don't know what they thought was happening. And, like, I could tell my boss when they heard about it just went, ah, all right, well, if we're going to go through the whole procedure, let's go through the whole procedure. Wow. <laughs> what do you maybe, want to dinner? Maybe Richard. Uh, oh, hold on, Chris. Give me a second. Such a homophobic piece of shit. Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought that far through. Did you want a takeaway something? Okay, I'm back. Um, we are turning around Excellent. and continuing on the road we were on. Well, gee, I'm glad I came all the way up here. Yeah. Homophobic piece of shit. <laughs> hey, it could be worse. I could be transphobic. Ow! Why are you turning into me? You know I have no turning circle without well, rolling. I was already turning and you started to run into me. No, that's just because it takes me a while to build up momentum because this truck <laughs> is not made for this ground. And yet it's apparently an off-road truck. <laughs> it just needs it needs to be raised and it needs better wheels on it. Admittedly, this one definitely needs to be raised. Like the wheels are okay, but most of the problems I have is that the chassis just keeps hitting the ground and then my wheels aren't touching anything. Oh my god, like right now. Yeah, every now and then I'll just, I'll remember that time that someone accused me of being homophobic and I'll just have that little bit of a giggle and do that. oh my god, can that happen again please? <laughs> That was a good day, back when I actually cared. Maybe you should just start throwing homophobic slurs around. Well, I've told you the story before. Ow, I'm stuck on a tree, Chris. <laughs> oh, I wondered, I didn't know why you'd stop. <laughs> the ground suddenly pulled me to the right and I was stuck on a tree, so... I did the best that I could with what I had. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Okay. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> but yeah, I told you the joke that uh, that got me into that trouble. The hay joke? Yeah. The one that is arguably one of the least offensive jokes I have told about my own people. That's the... yeah, I can't even... I actually can't fathom someone legitimately finding that homophobic. 
I just still it's so it's such a non-event as far, like it's not even it's not even that good of a joke really. When no, it's it. <laughs> it's a very basic joke that I thought was absolutely fine for the office, especially since I was the person that it was making fun of, essentially. But, yeah, boy, was I wrong. Chris, you got to stop ramming into I'm me. It keeps sorry. almost tipping the you. The ground keeps <laughs> bumping me places. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, I just love the look on the guy's face when he went, what if there was a gay person around? I was like, there was. Me. Pull me, Daddy. Pull. I'm pulling. Oh, this is actually working out really well. Well, good. I'm glad. Uh oh, here comes the bumpies. Whee! <laughs> go, son, go! Thanks, Papa. You make me so proud. Alright, alright. I'm gonna stop for a second. Don't run into me. Which way? Oh, I'm gonna. Done? Uh, I'm the very take it up the least, earth. I'm going to go that way to the next intersection, because I don't know if we need to go forward or right. This place sucks, it's all swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! What the hell? <laughs> there was apparently a tree there. Right. Well, I didn't choose for the tree to be there, Chris. Well, thanks for destroying that other tree. You're welcome. You really think helped. you can see a tree, though. Are we going right or straight? Well, I was going to look at my map at this point to figure it out. So, un momento, por favor. Because if I have to turn right, I'm going to have to revert. <laughs> well, oh, shit, that's we're going some right. bad news for you, Chris. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> Well, this is why I stopped before the intersection, Chris. I thought you stopped because you hit a tree. No. You can see all the things I can see, Chris. <laughs> also, I can see arguably less than you can because there's a huge petrol tank in front of my face. Well, you could also, here's the thought, put Zoom markers out? on your map. Because... Yeah, you have the power. Good power. Alright, I'm doing the observation. I'm looking at the map. Uh, where am I next to? Okay. It's down here. Down to this one. Uh, did we want to go back the way we came or forward? Um, well, I just got here. Forward it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, forward looks like it's fine. Alright. It's Tally ho, Pip Pip. A road? No, no, it is. I just wanted to make sure it was a road before I said, yeah, let's go. Because <laughs> as good as we're doing, I highly doubt we want to. Oh, good, a make winding road among trees. I can't think of a single time this has ever gone badly for me. Will trees just spawn in before I hit them already? <laughs> I'm just. I'm really getting sick of my car just being shunted violently. Like, admittedly, some of them could probably have been my fault where I just wasn't paying enough attention, but I feel like the large majority of them are phasing into existence after I hit them. In a not at all related note, I feel like it's been nighttime for goddamn ever. <laughs> right? And every time it's day, it feels like the day only lasts for like a minute. And then it's going into evening again. Seriously, that tree was not there. <sighs> Pretty sure there were trees there. Well, it wasn't on my game. I see this tree though. Yeah, I caught you. So there. We're getting there. Is it still just yeah, okay, it's still just a a straight road. For as far as I can see, and then it turns to blackness. Come, Christopher. I come. Okay. 
Okay. Maximum I'm gonna speed. stop and I'm gonna look at the map. Oh, we need to go right. Turn right, Chris. Right. <laughs> I saw you coming up to the intersection on my map and was like, I can fix it, I can help. <laughs> See, now, how's that for teamwork, Chris? That was pretty good. I'm wondering yeah, if I should I'll go push. into low gear plus, because regular gear seems to be struggling a bit. I'm helping, I'm pushing. You're not touching me. Yeah, I am. I'm pushed right up against your butt. You are not touching me on my screen. Well, on mine, I you are, am very I am much very, under your wheels. I'm very <laughs> in the three now. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Chris, I think you need to go slightly left. I was trying to, but someone was pushing me. What? Who would do that? Now I'm stuck. <laughs> Wait. I'm a pulling. Hang on, wait, only, actually... only two of your back wheels are moving. None of my back wheels are moving, according to mine. Oh yeah, no, there's there's the two that's moving. Don't... Why is this happening? Oh, Why your did one you doesn't push have... me into these trees so far? <laughs> your one doesn't have diff lock, does it? No. Well, Chris, if you go forward slightly, I can get past you, and then I can just get to the tower, and then we can solve the you being stuck problem. Or I could just try and solve it right now. Or I'll just get myself wedged between two rocks in a tree. Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't oh, fix this. Wait, no! Ah! No! Ah! What's happening? Chris! Yeah, what's happening? What are you doing? <laughs> I need you to fuel me. <laughs> I need you. You need fuel. Yes. Um, ah! I tried taking fuel, but it, it apparently was giving you fuel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I might need to... Oh good, there's a winch point to my left. Okay, you do that, I'll nope, go that this way. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, okay, 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 I can fix it. Fix it, Felix! I'm gonna wreck it! Oh, this is working! Come on, tree! You can do it! Bite its freaking head off! Why? What am I stuck on? What's what's stuck? Oh, I'm just still wedged between the rocks. <laughs> Come on, pimp wagon! Come on, Trucky. Go this way. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. There we go. Oh. Yeah, back to auto so I can reverse. There we go. There we go. Bye, Chris. Oh, great. No, Richard. Bye. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Where, where does the road go? Oh, to the left here. Okay. Hey, this driving at night sucks. What? <laughs> and tower done. Look at us go. Wow. Oh, there was an upgrade we missed. No, that's all right. I can get it later. Um, what I will say though, Chris. Oh, wait, there's an upgrade right here. Oh, do I get it? Do I? Oh, I I'm going to get it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go get it, Chris. Is this how I end the day? I end the day irreparably stuck between two rocks <laughs> and several trees. If only there was any way to have prevented that. Yeah, maybe if someone hadn't forced me into among the trees initially. Mm, I believe that someone was trying to help you, Chris, because you said you weren't moving very fast. It seems to me like you should have anticipated things. As the old motto goes, everyone should be prepared for everything at all times. Mm. 
Mm. Okay, this isn't so much a road as much as it is just path. And by path, I mean mildly tree free area. Okay, oh. Okay, we're doing a full 360 apparently. Okay, truck. Get winched. Come on, winchy. You can do it. <laughs> I believe in you, Chris. You can fix that thing that I did. Just like I fixed all those things that you did. I just I love this is working. I just love all the concentration that I can hear from your side in the deafening silence. It's just not working. Nothing I do I can't even reverse out of here. It's just this is irreparable. Well once I get this upgrade I was going to be going anyway because it's nearly dinner time. So I'll recover it, Chris. I'll be the hero of the day with Game uh, mechanics! Yay! <sighs> Engageable? That's my favorite kind. There we go. There we go. Alright, Chris. You out of that truck. You I left am the excellent. Oh, did you leave? <coughs> oh, yeah. No. What the fuck else was I gonna do? <laughs> oh, well, you're at least gonna wait to say goodbye. God. We can still say goodbye. It's just not the same now, is it, Chris? This one, this one, here, enter, loading. <laughs> I hate the places that don't have garages in them. Because that's why we brought the fuel truck, because that place doesn't have a, a garage. Oh no. Alright, enter, and I'm going to recover, and I'm going to keep doing this while I say goodbye to everybody, because it's been, once again, an absolute delight to, <laughs> to be playing this game with you <laughs> in all the right ways, Chris. I feel like I didn't get to achieve much of anything. <laughs> hey, we opened up an entirely new level. Well, we <laughs> got at least two upgrades. I think we ended up getting three. I can't quite remember. But, like, we achieved things. And... One of us achieved things. <laughs> and I will have you know that we also yeah. did that while only technically flipping once. Because all the other times were easily recoverable and dealt with. It would have been easily recoverable if you just recovered the truck initially. Mmm. That doesn't sound right, Chris. That almost sounds like you're saying that it's my fault. I think you'll find, though, Richard, if you think about it, it makes sense. Mmm. Does it, though? Mm-hmm. We drove 12.6 Ks and we got two upgrades and or add-ons and we unlocked Yay. so many towers that it doesn't even tell us so, so many towers see we did two things again and in under two hours because we are what professionals that's right <laughs> And on that note, I'm going to say thank you for joining me, you future internet people, and have fun with all of your magical technologies and knowledge. Bye! Bye, Richard.